Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. How many feet of workspace is required in front of an HVAC disconnect? So what we're talking about in this case is the outdoor unit or indoor unit, doesn't really matter. But let's say we're at the outdoor unit and you have the disconnect mounted on the side of the structure. Well, how many feet is required in front of that disconnect for the working space? And we're going to find this one in 110.26. And we're going to find that it's required to be three feet. Now, why is this important? It's important for the person who has to come service it later. We do not want anything within that three feet of working space. So you can take excellent measurements while at the same time remain, you know, maintaining a safe distance from things that may be potentially grounded. So we have to have a minimum of three feet in front of it. And this goes for all equipment that's required to be serviced. This wouldn't count for a receptacle or a switch or something like that, but it would count for any type of disconnect switch or anything like that. Whether it's a pull fuse, a throw knife, doesn't really matter. But for like a single pull switch, it would not be required. It's for and about electrical equipment. So you need at least 30 inches on one side or the other or in any direction, side to side, and you'd need at least three feet in front of it. One of the best ways I've heard it described is that if you are standing in front of a piece of equipment, imagine that there is a full-sized normal refrigerator in front of it. So three feet out, six foot tall, and 30 inches wide is the standard old refrigerator. In that space, there's not allowed to be anything else. Now, there are other requirements on top of this, but if you can just imagine taking a refrigerator that's standard size and setting it in front of it, doesn't matter if you move it right to left, as long as you can you know, hit that space, then you know you're good to go. I hope you guys have a great day. I am the Electrical Code Coach. If there's anything I can do to help you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.